Okay guys, I've had a rough day today and I've decided to turn my laundry room into like, you know that show Big Brother where they have like the confessional room and the people go in there and tell like their deepest, darkest secrets? Well, I've decided that that's what the laundry room has become for me because I can't go anywhere else without somebody finding me. The day has started off rough. I mean, really rough. The best sound that I can hear right now is the Roomba scurrying around the floors out in the kitchen. And it sounds wonderful. Don't you hear that sweet, sweet sound? It's the sound of me not doing it. That's what that sound is. I want to talk about teenagers. I don't understand them in any way, shape, or form. I would never pinpoint which child I'm talking about, but this is my oldest child. And my oldest child had a very important ACT exam today. Well, registration starts at 7.30. I look at the clock at 7.30. I'm like, you need to go. You need to get going. <sighs> I have plenty of time. I know how to get there. I know what to do. She should be fine, it's not far. It's at her school, her own school. The scheduled ACT was at her high school. I mean, that's luck, right? Because she has no sense of direction at all. Not one iota. And she gets that from me and I feel bad for her about that. I get a call from her at 7.55 and I knew something was wrong. I'm like, what? What is it? That's how I answer the phone, what is it? Mom? I don't know how to get to the front of the school. I'm like, excuse me, come again? Evidently, according to her, where she normally parks is the student parking lot, which is at the back of the school. Well, because this was a weekend thing, the student parking lot was closed. So they'd have to go to the front of the school. Now, mind you, mind you, I might get animated here. She's gone to this school for three years now. Three, three years. She's a junior. She spent 25 minutes trying to Google map how to get from the student parking lot to the entrance of the school. Was driving around in circles for 25 minutes, couldn't figure it out, and then finally called me. I'm like, you go right out of the parking lot and then you go right again and then you're at the school right right and she's like okay bye 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 they're not gonna not let me in 8 10. i had to prepare myself they didn't let me in mom i missed the test i'm like are you being serious are you freaking kidding me she missed the act i of course did what any mother would do i yelled her oh my you've got to get your bleep together right you're almost in the real world. You're almost an adult. Why do they act like they know everything when they clearly don't? They don't know anything. They barely know how to get out of bed. And I'm supposed to send this person out into the world next year? So she couldn't make it from the student parking lot to the front parking lot without Google Maps. Wait, no, with Google Maps. Even with Google Maps, in 25 minutes, she still couldn't get to the front of the school. So when she got home and I proceeded to continue, the yelling, I told her to get online and reschedule it. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that, Mom. We should probably do that on Monday. So I decided to ask her. When did you start applying for college? I don't know. Is it this year? What month? I don't know. I think it's my senior year. I'm not sure. Does it know? Does it know? Quip. Cool. Do you know how to write a check? A what? Do you know how to remove money from an ATM? 
see what a debit card is? These were all negatives. And then tears. Tears. We yelled. Told her to get her head out of her butt. You wanna know what happened? She went and laid down and took a nap. Yeah, a nap. I don't ever get to take a nap. I don't get to take a nap. Where the frick is my nap? My shoulders are in knots from this whole morning debacle. I asked my husband to rub my shoulders, that my shoulders are burning, burning, like on fire burning. I know you moms know what I'm talking about. It gets burning, like it hurts from tension and carrying kids and, and pressure and everything. And bless his heart, he's trying, he's digging, he's trying. And then I get two toddlers, one who's potty training, who decides to put her junk on the top of my head as I'm trying to get a massage. Don't look at my roots, don't people. Everything's, everything's out of control, okay? Do you see the bags, people? Do you see them? Do you see the bags? I'm tired. And then another teenager who I won't name, the second one who's still asleep at 1.30 in the afternoon. We go in to wake him up. And the little ones come up there and they're excited to see their brother. And he has a seizure attitude like, I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping. He proceeds to grab the three-year-old, run him downstairs and tell him to get out of his room. Three-year-old's crying, teenager's angry. The older teenagers sleeping. Everybody's a mess. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get a pedicure. Yep, and I did it. I left. I left the house. It was the best hour of the entire week. I got the deluxe, not the regular, and you ladies know exactly what I mean when I say the deluxe and not the regular like they have to rub your feet for like a certain amount of time because it's like against the law to not do it and that's what I needed the massage chair was the new it was a new one they had just plugged it in it was jiving and jamming at my back and the lady massaged my legs like none other at one point She was digging out an ingrown cuticle and I was asleep. I didn't wake up because she was digging out the ingrown cuticle. I woke up because she tapped my leg and said, I hurt you? And I said, what? No, I said, I, I, I'm practically asleep. And she said, oh, I sorry, go back to sleep. I couldn't go back to sleep after that, but. So, if we need to come in the laundry room every once in a while and hide, I'm just okay. Don't feel bad, guys. Don't feel bad, mothers. It's not that we have failed. It's that society is changing and things are getting crazy and kids are just being stuck in their home with their TV and their laptop and their stupid phones. Nobody's getting out and doing anything anymore. So I say to you mothers, don't feel guilty. We're doing the best that we can. We're trying every day. We're putting our heart and souls into it. We're gonna get through this together, girls. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more laundry confessions. And there's a lot. I've barely told you anything.